tis the season for Tech Mega Corps to see who can say AI the most in presentations. And now it was Microsoft's turn with their event, which reaffirmed that Copilot is still a thing they're working on, no matter how much people are resisting it online. Maybe this presentation will change their mind because they announced quite a few new interesting things, starting off with a brand new recall mode, when Windows will essentially just take screenshots of everything even up to recently and then recall, hence the name, where you saw something. Which I guess is a bit overkill, you'd think that just fixing search and Windows Explorer would solve the issue, but no, they have to throw AI into it as well. Well, okay, okay, it's not all that simple and there's other absolutely awesome stuff built into recall. For example, it can also find specific fragments of a specific file that you may have seen. Like a photo of a particular person or a video that had a specific object inside of it. Or maybe a website where you saw some very specific item you liked. On paper it all sounds pretty great, especially if, like me, you have a bad memory, though paper is a very flimsy thing indeed. They also showcase a few other demos, including Copilot helping out a guy playing Minecraft, being able to read the inventory and infer what can and can't be crafted with the items inside, while also being able to react to things like for example a mob chasing the player and giving quick fire responses about what to do. Though if I can um actually for a second, the co-pilot model referred to the mob as a zombie. Oh no, it's a zombie! Run! Well it's actually a husk. So clearly this thing is still very dumb and needs a lot more polishing care. After that other demos like pretty impressive live translation and a couple of other things that no one really cares about, and you have your pretty much bog standard AI demo circa mid-2024. However, that's not the end of the story, because the other key thing at the presentation were the PCs actually required to run all this new co-pilot goodness or badness depending on how you look at it. That's why Microsoft also introduced two new Surface models. The new Surface Pro and an action Surface laptop coming in both 14 and 15 inch variants. These are systems specifically meeting Microsoft's very strict requirements for an AI powered PC or what they're calling co-pilot plus PC. Yeah, even an AI would come with a better name than that. But these new laptops are all very impressive and they'll be the only way you can run most of these features for now, thanks to pretty impressive Snapdragon X CPUs inside. Yeah, you heard that right. Snapdragon CPUs. As in ARM. Like, ARM running on Windows. Y you see why this is weird? ARM on Windows is officially a thing because of these laptops and to be fair, I think these were the most exciting part of the whole presentation. They include fairly decent CPU and GPU performance, but of course MPU performance is another big consideration for these AI laptops. And one of the big focuses was how all of this extra AI stuff in the background doesn't drain your battery, which is, you know, kind of important on a laptop. In fact, they went as far as to compare it to MacBooks from Apple to show how they, even with all these additional background tasks, are still able to hold the battery life crown. But that wasn't the only comparison to Apple. They kind of did a lot, including these very Apple-like vague performance numbers that don't really mean much, but hey, a dig at Apple is a dig at Apple, and I'll take it any day of the week, even for Microsoft. I mean, come on, they even had these spec slides that are exactly the way the fruit company does theirs. Beyond just the performance and the power efficiency, there's plenty of other really awesome things about these laptops, including an OLED display on the Pro model, and even a 4K camera. But one thing they're definitely not stealing from Apple is the pricing because the Surface Pro starts at just $1,000 with all those amazing specs. And that thing at least comes with 16 gigs of RAM as standard, meaning that in a lot of ways, these laptops actually kind of overshadowed all the AI stuff at this conference. But what do you think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're here, maybe also check out our Patreon so you can finally bribe whoever it takes to attend these kind of conferences in person. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Just Rage, Elif Ronyak, Def Panda, Nuskov of Kane, Balaj Velka, Patrick Harrison, Not a Pseudonym, Mech Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, Level Up, and Robert Sanders. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.